welcome back to the next video in this video i will show you how to integrate web sockets uh, inside your flutter app and uh, for backend we will be making use of node.js so let's get started so here i have my web app running so i have already made a video on how to integrate uh, this web sockets with react.js as well as well as i have ios simulator now this web app is not uh, made using flutter it is made using react.js if you want you can open the android emulator as well or your real android device whatever you feel like and it should work uh, so uh, the reason i'm not using android emulator is it's too bulky and it slows down my pc so here i have two text fields one is username and one is enter your room so first i'll enter the username you can enter whatever you feel like so i enter uh, rohit and the group name is t again you can enter whatever uh, room name you feel like sorry not group name room name you can feel like and just click on enter so here you can see you have entered this and i get this message at rohit join t so as soon as i am connected to my web socket so on this screen i am connected to a web socket of my backend i immediately send a message from my client to my server and my server uh, broadcasts that message to whichever client has been connected to this particular group so suppose here uh, this is the username text field in my web app and this is a uh, room name so i'll enter the same room name i click on submit and here you can see rahul join t but if you see in the ios simulator here i also get notified that okay rahul join t now i will send some message from my ios simulator i click on submit here you can see that message has been visible on my web app as well i'll send some message from my web app to my ios simulator and here you can see that is also visible so yeah and also one more thing suppose uh, i completely close the web app and if i go over here here you can see i also see this message rahul lefty so yeah that's what we will be doing let's see how to do this so first uh, i'll show you the backend code so i am using uh, node.js but you can use whatever you feel like better to follow uh, what i am doing so firstly you will have to install node.js in your local pc uh, then you will have to cre create a folder inside that folder just open your terminal cd to that folder and run npm init dash y once you run that command it will create a package.json file for you and if you want you can create this file manually as well and here i have uh, two uh, scripts attached to it start and dev and here as you can see i have uh, written node index.js which is index.js is basically uh, the entry point for our file so once you to start this server you have to run npm run start or npm run dev and it will start your server but before that you will have to write a bunch of code so inside dependency we will have to install express and express dash ws so to install this just run npm install express npm install express dash ws and this should get installed next go we'll go to index.js and here you can see i'm importing express then i'm creating an app out of it then i'm importing chat user then i'm importing express dash ws and uh, passing our app which we have created then i'm listening on this uh, like i have opened this uh, chat or web web socket on this url like slash chat and slash this colon room name means it is a dynamic name you can enter whatever you feel like so once you connect to the web socket we create this chat user and here firstly we pass this is a function okay so wh dot send helps us to send messages from server to the client so we're basically passing a function as an input parameter to this chat user and next we are passing our room name as well wh dot on message will be called whenever uh, the client sends a message to the server side and here this is how i am handling the message i'll show you this handle message method in a bit and for closing like whenever a client like just i showed you that when i close the web tab uh, the tab uh, of my web application it uh, also shoots a message uh, to all the clients that have been connected that okay the, uh, this particular uh, user has been disconnected and here i am just calling handle close uh, next over here i have taken a port as 3001 and i am listening on port 3001 next uh, inside a room so i have created this file chat user.js and over here i am just importing room.js and if you see chat user i am creating a constructor first and first parameter is the send method which we were sending or as a first input parameter and 
this is as applied this is assigned to underscore send so here inside chat user i have created another method called send which calls this dot underscore send and pass the data to it so yeah and here room name we just called room dot get room name i will show you this method as well in a bit uh, next in for handle join uh, so whenever a user joins our the particular web socket uh, we we send a message from the client to the server uh, and uh, basically with the name as well as with some message so here we are applying the name to this dot name then we call this join method as well as broadcast method so join is basically assigning uh, this member to this particular room and broadcast will help us to uh, broadcast that particular message to other users uh, who have been connected to the same room i will show you that this method as well and for handle chat it is same thing but there is one bug which i have encountered uh, like handle join is called very for the very first time when a user joins and this dot name has been set but inside handle chat i don't know why this dot name again becomes null i have couldn't figure it out and again uh, but yeah that's fine and here again we are doing the same thing like whenever you enter an input inside the text field and click on the submit button it sends a message from client to server and it indirectly calls handle chat and here again we are broadcasting that message to all the clients that are connected to this server next so this handle message gets called if you remember whenever we receive a message uh, from client and inside handle message we are basically checking the data type if it is the data type of join then i am calling handle join you don't need to pass this data type and all this kind of stuff you can just pass string from the client side to the server side and vice versa but ju but just for uh, you know better understanding uh, and uh, for a complex scenario i have taken uh, json similarly for if it is data type is of type chat then i am calling handle chat as you can see over here uh, i haven't implemented private chat and for handle close like this gets called whenever a user leaves a particular room so here we are first first checking if again here you can see that like this dot name again is properly set i don't know why for handle chat this dot name is null again if you know do let me know in the comments on what mistake i'm making uh, and here you can see that we are getting this get member method from room.js we are passing the name and if the user exists then we just call leave uh, from our room.js and we also broadcast that message to other clients inside that room now if you go to room.js we are first creating a map variable uh, like a rooms variable of new map and this get method was called right if you remember over here so basically what this get method does it checks whether this rooms variable already has a name of that particular room if yes then return that particular room otherwise create a new room similarly inside constructor we are just assigning the room name to this dot name and we for members we are creating a set whenever a member joins we are just as, as, adding that particular member to this this dot member set similarly for leaving we just delete it from the set and for broadcasting we just loop over all the members and here we just call this send method which was over here and this internally calls the wh dot send method which we have sent and get members i'm not really using it and for getting a particular member uh, you can use this method and don't forget this model dot x module dot exports as well as over here also you will have to write this module dot exports okay once that is done just run your server npm run start or whatever uh, npm run dev uh, now coming back to the flutter here as you can see i have created my flutter app so inside the flutter app firstly you will have to go to android manifest which is in the android folder src main android manifest you will have to add this internet permission also you will have to add this uses clear text traffic because uh, my node.js server is hosted locally that's why i have to use this uses clear text traffic uh, if you have hosted your node.js server on aws or google cloud with an https uh, uh, proper certificate you don't have to use this uses clear text traffic also inside the info.plist of your ios you will have to add this because again our node.js uh, server is hosted locally that's why we have to add this 
then inside pubspec.yaml i have added this go router for navigating from one screen to another screen and i have also in, in included this websocket channel which will help us to connect to websocket uh, now coming back to main.dart basically we have to do some go router setup so you will have to write material app.router then you will have to write these three lines and here we will have to create our router so the uh, starting page is login page and the second page is home page so i have uh, defined over here but from login page we will get the room name as well as the username which i am passing so here i am basically extracting that room name as well as username and passing to our home page so if i go to login page here you can see i have just taken two text editing controller uh, then i am disposing it inside dispose method and for text field i have just assigned those controllers for username and this is for room name and once button is pressed we just do context dot push uh, redirect to the home page but here we pass the room as well as the name to our uh, home page now if you go to home page base so i have created these two variables where we get this data from login page and here i have created another text editing controller for our text input this my list for saving all the data which we get uh, like i am displaying this data inside a list view dot builder uh, that's why i've created this array and here i have created our websocket channel and i'm calling this init method which i have defined over here inside init state so basically we are connecting to our websocket channel to our server sorry using this websocket channel now this entire thing should be your own ip address don't pass my ip address it won't work for you this uh, our node.js app is hosted on localhost colon 3001 that's why i'm passing 3001 and the url was slash chat followed by whatever room name we have next we have to make sure our channel is ready and as soon as it is ready i am sending a message of type join and i am uh, sending the name as well which user has joined to the server side and as soon as we send it the server broadcast that message to all the clients who have connected so here you will get that message so i am just decoding it instead of this json encoding you can just pass normal string as well okay but here i'm just wanted to show you how you want how you should send complex data in form of json encoding so if the uh, type is of type note then we just again i'm doing the same thing for both the state but yeah if you want you can add some check as well uh, so how, this is how the data comes from our backend and here i'm just disposing as well as closing our channel and uh, inside the ui i have just taken a text field i have assigned the controller to it and on button pressed we just call again this channel dot sing dot add pass type is of chat and text we just pass controller dot text and here i have taken a list view dot builder which keeps on uh, showing the new messages which have been appended to our list so yeah that's it thank you for watching bye